We're taking a slight detour from standard number seven as we cover chapter five, section three. Uh, we're going to talk about scientific notation and significant digits. Scientific notation for a number is notation written in the form a times 10 to the nth power, where a is a number greater than or equal to one, and a is less than 10, and n is an integer, meaning it could be positive or negative, now that we know what negative exponents do. The digits of the factor a should all be significant. A significant digit of a number is written in decimal form is any non-zero digit or any zero that has the purpose other than placing the decimal point. Here are some examples below of numbers, digits in red that are significant digits. The two zeros here are important to keep track. This is 1,005, not 15. Here, the numbers in red, the zeros are important. So it's 0 0.102, so we know the 2 is in the thousands place, not the hundreds place. 320, we need the 0 there, and one decimal place accuracy, we need the decimal there. And 00304, well, we need this 0 between the 3 and 4, so we don't lose that one placeholder. But this we could do without in scientific notation once we locate where the 0 is and tell how many zeros we, that we want to keep track of. So our job today is to go back and forth, take numbers from decimal notation to scientific and from scientific to decimal. So for example one, write each number in scientific notation. If the number is an integer and ends with zeros, assume in this case that the zeros are not significant. So we're going to take 67,060. Now, here's what I suggest. Look at where the decimal actually is and where we want the decimal to be. If 67,060 has to be larger than or equal to 1 but smaller than 10, we want the decimal between the 6 and the 7. Now, that's where we want it. Here's where it really is. And here's a suggestion. When you're converting from decimal form to scientific notation, sometimes students get confused whether the exponent is positive or negative. So go from where you want the decimal to be to where the decimal is located. That direction is the same as the number line, meaning right to the right of zero are positive numbers and to the left of zero is negative. So as we go from where we want it to be to where it is, that's a direction of going to the right. And that means our exponent is going to be positive. Another way to look at it is that numbers that start out larger than 10 will have positive exponents. So we're going to write this as 6.706 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, fourth power. From where we want the decimal to be to where it is is four places, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 6.706 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, let's try another one. We have 0 0.00205. And let's look where the decimal is. Let's look where we want the decimal to be. Because this number, although it's smaller than 1, in scientific notation will need to end up being larger than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So 2.05 is what we would get if we put the decimal here. And again, what we want to do is we want to go from where the decimal is, where we want it to be, to where it is. That direction here is to the left, where we want it to be, to where it is. To the left of 0 on the number line is negative. So we're going to have 2.05 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, fourth power, since we need to relocate it four places over. Another way to remember that is that numbers that start out in decimal notation smaller than 1 in scientific notation, end up having exponents that are negative. Okay, so from where you want the decimal to where it is, is to the left, that's negative. All right, to determine which number is larger, we're going to look at a couple of things. One, we're going to look at the numbers a here, and then we're going to look at the powers of 10. In this example, we have 10 to the negative third power, 10 to the negative third power. Those are identical, so that doesn't change. What we need to do is to look at the 2.83 and the 3.25. The 2.83 is less than the 3.25. So this number in scientific notation, 2.83 times 10 to the third, is less than 3.25 times 10 to the negative third. 
which if you wrote them in decimal notation would be 0 0.00283, and that is smaller than 0 0.00325. Let's continue on and determine which number is smaller. We're looking at the number A, and we're also looking at the powers of 10. The 2.36's are the same. So to determine which number is larger and smaller, we look at the powers of 5. 10 to the 4th power is smaller than 10 to the 5th power. So the number 2.36 times 10 to the 4th is less than 2.36 times 10 to the 5th. Alright, the other thing we want to practice today is to go from scientific notation into decimals. So we have 2.95 times 10 to the 5th power. And multiplying by 10, I remember the shortcut from elementary school, that means move the decimal point to the right one place. Well, we have 10 to the 5th, so we're going to move it to the right 5 places. So we're going to take that 2.95, move it to the right once, twice. We need to add a couple of zeros, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, so that we finally find our decimal form is 295,000. So take that 2 times 10 to the 5th, Take the decimal, move it to the right five places. 7.05 times 10 to the negative fourth. A negative power of 10 means go to the left, like the number line would be. So we're going to take that decimal point, 7.05, and move it to the left four places. So left one, then we need to add a couple more zeros. Left two, left three, left four. And our decimal form is... 0 0.00705. And that's our look at going back and forth between decimal and scientific notation.